Hello, well, I'm Rebecca Carter and I work as a literary agent at the agency Janklo and Nesbitt. Well, I mean, the thing about an agent is that it encompasses all aspects of the publishing process from finding authors. So my day, might, my day is incredibly complex. It will involve reading people's pitch letters, reading their submissions, um, talking to, meeting potential new clients. Um, if I take someone on, then it will be talking to them about how their book's going to be submitted, submitting it to publishers, doing the contract, um, and then once the deal is done, kind of shepherding the whole publication process right through to the end, and then talking about what their next book should be. <laughs> My top tips for aspiring writers. I suppose I'm, I'm, um, when I'm looking for new clients, I'm looking for brilliant ideas and originality and fantastic books, but I'm also looking for someone with a kind of long-term plan about, about their career and how they're going to sustain it. I was just talking in the, uh, the pitching sessions we've been doing today, but if someone comes to me with a book idea and only wants to make their living out of doing a children's illustrated book, that's quite, that sets off alarm bells for me because it's going to be kind of hard, hard unless you become I don't know, a uh, kind of brilliant brand name in that area. So, so I'm, so those kind of strategies for, and, and someone who's prepared. I mean, I do lots of editorial work with authors before I submit their books. So someone who's prepared to listen, to, to get better, to work with me. Obviously, you know, it, an agent, it's a bit like a marriage finding the right literary agent, you sort of hope that you're going to be together for their whole career and they've got to trust you. And if, if, and I would say to writers, I suppose, if you're, if you're looking for an agent into interview, don't, you know, and if you're in the lucky position that several agents want to represent you, you are allowed to interview them and, and you've got to trust them. Often, often, I mean, a really good tip that I heard another agent say is ask that agent to describe your book back to you and after they've read it. And if they're describing it in a way that, that feels right, then that, that's good. But if they're sort of trying to make it into something that perhaps it isn't quite in your mind, that's, that's not necessarily. Yeah, so that, that element of, of trust, finding the right person. Um, and then being, yes, being prepared to kind of work very hard. I was thinking about an author that I had sold her book, it's a non-fiction book on proposal about five years ago maybe four years ago and i think when she went into it she had no idea the hard work that was ahead of her but it is yeah you've got to be you've got to have staying power i, I think sort of sitting down and having i mean the, what i've just been doing upstairs listening to people describe their books to me is an, it makes this kind of event incredibly helpful because presumably in learning how i responded to their pitch if they have to pitch their book again to someone else They'll, they'll hone that.